is the 650 coming to the 305. That's what we want to talk about first. Hey, I'm John D. Villarreal. Now, check it out. If you haven't seen my other videos on that Miami Tech and Venture ecosystem, what's happening here, please check those out. A lot of great information there, so you can check those out. Now, there's a lot of things that are happening. I saw a post today in a tweet by Delian Asparov of the Founders Hub. First of all, all I'm saying, this entire video and everything related is all my personal opinion only. I'm not alleging facts, not casting any spurs, it's all for entertainment purpose only. Please check all the disclaimers. And I think it said, in my recollection, in my opinion, I think it said something like, Miami Tech Week, 100 founders and VCs flying in. I know there's this on deck thing happening with Kiefer Boy and on deck, and it's this drop or something, if I remember correctly, in my opinion. I'll have links in the video description to Dillian's tweet and to the on deck stuff so everyone can check that out and you know decide for yourself. So if you think about that, and again, this, listen, I'm not criticizing anybody. This is all great. Anything that happens in Miami that's tech, venture related is awesome. Definitely not criticizing Mayor Suarez. I think it's great what he's doing. And I don't blame Mayor Suarez, right? I mean, he's not in charge of this. I mean, I think he's speaking, but he's not in charge of this conference. So if if I'm, I'm remembering correctly, in my opinion, that there's only 100 people that are gonna be there, and if I'm remembering correctly that Dillian is saying that 100 people are flying in, VCs and and founders, who's gonna be at this conference, right? What kind of conference is it? Who's it for? If you look at the speakers, you can ask questions about that. Who are the speakers? Do they live in Miami? If they've lived here, how long have they lived here? Four months? Six months? A year? And again, that's no criticism. It's just analysis. So. If it were me, I might tune the messaging and branding a little bit. That's just maybe preference, not criticism. Um, but, but I understand, and listen, I take people at their word, right? And what is the word? If, in my opinion, if I remember correctly, and again, I'll have the link in the video description so you can see for yourself. I believe, if I remember correctly, that Dillian's tweet, it was something like, hear me out, what if we move, key word, in my opinion, move Silicon Valley to Miami. That's different than if that's, and again, you can see it below, my opinion, my recollection, paraphrase, not a quote, not a legend, anything. That, that is a different statement than build up Miami to be like Silicon Valley. Recreate Silicon Valley in Miami. Let's work on the ecosystem in Miami. Move Silicon Valley to Miami is a different statement. Then you look at, at, at what, who's gonna be at this conference, who's speaking at this conference, how many people are gonna be at this conference. And then you look at the responses, some of the people in, in, the, in the responses, if I remember correctly, to Dillian's tweet was, hey, you know, someone from Canada and UK and all over. That's cool, that's great, that's cool. But here's, but let's, what is it, what isn't it, right? And that's what I've been trying to explain over the last several videos. And, and again, this isn't, this is, again, maybe my role is, I understand Silicon Valley and I understand Florida. And I'm living in Florida, I've lived in Florida for a while and I've lived in Florida before for many years. So maybe it's interpreting, translating, you know, I my, and I'm very plain, I wanna see the tech startup venture ecosystem really work. I wanna see great opportunity for everybody. I wanna see that ecosystem be very strong and vibrant and, and, and at first just be viable, right? For the long term. And again, it's great, it's fine, there's no, that's awesome. If you can bring some of the top people from around the world here to talk about venture and tech and get some energy and excitement and be in the mix, fantastic, there's nothing wrong, that is awesome. But, you know, let, I, I just wanna put a little context in this and, and this is maybe, I've been having a lot of conversations, I'm having more, I'm gonna almost for sure gonna be back down in Miami later this week to talk to some, some more people in the startup venture ecosystem. I think I've got a couple meetings with some venture capitalists lined up as well, which is great. But here's the thing, it, maybe the best analogy, because I've been there, I've been to Salt Lake many times, I've been to Park City I've, you know, several times, I've been to Vegas several times. It's like if Paris Hilton were having a party at Tal in Vegas or the Wynn or wherever, she would come in, 
bring the people that she wanted to bring and they'd blow out. They'd come in, have a good time, and then they'd, they'd leave. There's a net positive to the economy. Similarly, if you look at Sundance with Park City, I mean, other than it's skiing and Sundance, really, that Park City and just, uh, just it's a beautiful place. It's fantastic. It's phenomenal if you've never been there. But basically, you know, the Sundance people, they come in, they do their thing, and then they leave. Now, does that, how much does that help the filmmaking community of Park City? I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't, I wouldn't imagine a ton. Maybe something. There, I mean, so uh, let me reframe it. I think maybe where there's pushback and maybe some potential disappointment, maybe some people were thinking, hey, you know what? Um, I've been in the tech community down here for a long time and hey, I've been working hard and hey, I've been doing this and, and now all this stuff's coming here and, and I'm gonna benefit. Now I get my, my, my startup funded or maybe I can get this going or, and maybe I can go to these events, whatever it is, you know, Mayor, hey, Mayor Suarez represents us. Listen, it's not on him. It's not his conference. So I don't, the fact that he was able to do, this is what I've said in many, many videos, and this is why I don't, don't want to be misinterpreted over time. The thing is about me, if you don't know me, is you, 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 in this instance, as a viewer and my long-term subscribers know that you have to see video after video after video. You have to, to be able to really get the picture. And, and maybe that's a criticism of me. Maybe that's just the, the, the reality of how you know, maybe on, on patting myself on the back, maybe that's how the, the complexity of my mind and the arguments and nuances that I that I operate in, right? So here's the thing. It's not Mayor Schwartz's conference. It, let me put it this way. This is the easiest way I can put it. If you and your company could not get a meeting with some of these top Silicon Valley VCs, these top VCs, these, 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 these top names that are coming to Florida either temporarily for a conference or permanently or whatever, it wouldn't surprise me if you can't get that meeting now. And it shouldn't surprise you. So it, the fact that there's activity and there's buzz and there's heat is great, but there's still so much work to do. And this is, again, this is where I, I try to keep it real and say we have to get, you know, do the work here. Now, here's the flip side. If you could, or you were close to it, or maybe you could, the fact that they're here now, hey, you get to save on airfare, you might, those marginal cases may get those meetings now. You may run into someone. You may know someone that knows that. I mean, maybe you go to Barry, who, wherever it is. Maybe you see him at South Beach. Maybe you see him at Coffee. There are now opportunities. I can say this, the, here's the flip side of it. Again, when I lived, I lived all over the Bay Area. And when I lived in Silicon Valley, the opportunities and the action, this is why I might move down to Miami. The opportunities and the action were just a magnitude different than living just 30, 40 miles away in San Ramon or Walnut Creek or even Berkeley. You know, it, 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 there's even a different vibe in San Mateo, than, right? And so, so both things are true, but you have to be realistic about what the expectations really are. That's all, that's all I'm saying. And I think there's a lot of work to still do. And I think that that's just reasonable. And that's fine. What I'm hearing from, from the community is, oh, it's about relationships and Silicon Valley doesn't understand that. And, and Silicon Valley is so transactional. Me knowing Silicon Valley, Silicon Valley is very, very fast. It, it, it is transactional because things are happening very fast, but you don't have all the, the nonsense of who knows who, who likes who, who's inside, who's outside. You do have some of that, but it's, it's much more about how do I get great things done very fast and who can help me do that and and let's go. All I'm trying to say is Silicon Valley is not coming to Miami because they have a mission of making the Miami tech scene and every company and founder here something great. They're coming to Miami because they want to come to Miami. Them coming to Miami does create opportunity but we still have to meet that opportunity. I hope that explains some things and creates some context. Let me know what you think. I'm lo I love to hear your feedback on it. Listen, it's exciting. Things are happening. Things are moving. Still, but what do I say? A, let's go. B, we still got a lot of work to do. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe. Please rate this video up. Thanks so much for watching. I'm John D. Villarreal. I will see you next time.